cleaning out the family home, getting it ready to sell. We were looking through boxes of pictures mom had taken. I really like this one. I posted it on the Great Lakes Gazette. That's my blog about the people, places, things to do around Michigan. This is one mom took on one of our annual trips to the Upper Peninsula. I shared it on the Great Lakes Gazette and now people around the world have seen this little slice of the UP in the 1960s. Mom had a good eye for photography even though she never had a fancy camera. Just an Instamatic with a flash cube on top. But I think she really captured something here. It's got a dreamy quality with the sky and the water meeting. A lot of people in Michigan piled in their cars and headed up north to the cottages, to the beaches. Five kids in the car. We never had a station wagon. Once we crossed the Mackinac Bridge, it was time for lunch on the beach. This was 1961. I was seven. That's my brother and me in the water. Dad was taking a break from driving. The twins are looking for treasures in the sand. Dad, a Navy man, never was one to get in the water. I think I saw Mom in a bathing suit a couple of times. This is a rare photo of her. We've got 3,200 miles of coastline along the Great Lakes. Maybe we who live here tend to take them for granted. Now vacations can be much more exotic. People go to the other end of the continent or the other side of the world. After the Navy, my dad worked on the Great Lakes freighters for a short time. My brother did too. You can actually spend time on a lake boat. That's what they call them. You could win a trip in a raffle. I'd like to experience that. I guess it's the romance of the seas, that connection to water. It's timeless. It's something to treasure. <laughs>